Wow, that was some ass looking intro. Anyway, let's fade right in. Let's unroot the Galaxy S4. If you want your phone to be fully stocked, I recommend getting Triangle Away by Chainfire. This app resets the pesky flash counters invest invented by the one and only evil Samsung. I would recommend setting it to auto reset at boot and then reset the flash counter. This is this is a paid app that costs a whopping two dollars fifty. I'm also sure that you can get this by other means. <coughs> Anyways, there is a link in the more info box down underneath the like button. Now, before we begin, we need to cover these necessary precautions. They are the following, Samsung USB drivers, Odin 3, and of course the firmware for your phone. Now before we go any further, to download your specific firmware, you will need to head over to sammobile.com to find your desired firmware. First, we will need to open up your browser and go to Sam Mobile firmware link in the more info box. Now you'll see four fields that are required to f for you to fill out. Type the smartphone, the OS is Android, the model is the GTI9505 or the Galaxy S4 LTE or you could choose any model of your phone. Now the country, now this is where you step in, yes you, you will need to select the appropriate country and carrier you on. There are hundreds of options in that list so pick your desired firmware. After you've selected your country from a list of firmwares that match your criteria will be displayed below. As you can see, the Galaxy S4 LTE from Vodafone Australia has only one recorded firmware. The average firmware is about 2 gigabytes in size, so please allow it to download overnight. Now after you have downloaded the appropriate firmware, you will have to put your phone into download mode. This can be accomplished by first turning off your phone, then holding volume down, home and power. After holding it for a few seconds, you'll see a warning screen, just like this on the screen. Uh, now you'd want to press volume up to continue. You'll now see a green Android that says downloading. Before you plug your phone in, you will need Odin. You will find Odin in the more info down below, and after downloading Odin, extract it and run it as an administrator, then plug in your phone. If this is the first time connecting your phone in download mode to your computer, it may have to download additional drivers from the Windows update. Just let it do it before you continue. After Windows has finished completing downloading your drivers. After connecting your phone to the computer, there will be a blue COM number displayed in Odin. Make sure you have nothing else connected. Now click on the PDA button and you will be prompted to find the firmware where you have just downloaded. Extract or locate the extracted firmware and click open. The firmware should end in a .md5 file. After selecting the firmware, Odin will now verify the MD5 hash of the file. This process may take a couple of minutes depending on your hardware. Now, after it has completed uh, verifying the hash, make sure that you've selected the PDA file as your firmware and left everything untouched. Now you may hit start. This process usually takes about 20 minutes. Your mileage may vary. After it has completed, it should say booting recovery in blue in the top left corner. After it boots up into recovery, a green android should appear with a spinning cog as its chest. This should only take a couple of minutes as, you know, uh, android is preparing your system. <laughs> If you are stuck around here in a boot loop, you will need to power off your phone by taking the battery out and then waiting a few seconds, then putting the battery back in, then reboot into the recovery. Once you are in recovery, you will need to perform a factory reset or wipe, then reboot the system. This is mainly only required if you come from a custom ROM. As you can see, super user isn't found on this phone. That means we have successfully returned our device back to stock. If this has helped you in any way, shape, or form, please like the video. It means a lot. 
and also subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos. You can also click that green pass button to subscribe. Peace.